Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today I am getting ready to go to my dentist appointment. I'm about to get a cleaning done, so I got out of the shower, did my makeup, washed my hair, and now I am straightening it. Thank you guys so much for all of the positive and fun comments on my last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and link it, but Chris and I played a game, like a little couple's game of how well we know each other, and I think you guys really enjoyed that, so thank you for the support on that video. So appreciated. It's a beautiful fall day today. It is a high of 65 degrees, so I have my sweatshirt on and my leggings and I'm nice and cozy. I wanted to kind of chat with you guys for a second about YouTube content before we get going with the rest of the vlog. How long have you guys been watching YouTube? Has it been like 10 years? Has it been more than that? I feel like the content that people want to see is so, what's the right word? Not generic, that's the first word that popped in my head, but so Instagram. You know, like the morning routines and the beauty things and the, like where everything looks really aesthetic and really beautiful, like those satisfying Instagram type things. But at the same time, I feel like people complain about those videos the most because it's unrealistic, it's unattainable, and then they start feeling badly about themselves because they're comparing. It seems like such mixed signals to me, but it seems also that your videos just don't get the views if you don't produce the Instagram type of content. It's really apparent all of the vloggers who live in LA, right? You can just click on a video and you're like, okay, yeah, because they're all the same. Same thing with like the Atlanta vlogs. If you've seen one Atlanta vlog, you've seen them all. If you've seen one LA vlog, you've seen them all. They have a certain aesthetic to them and a certain way of being. That it gets kind of boring, don't you think? I get bored and I'm like, but the creators understand that if they don't make content like that, they just don't get the same amount of views. Those videos do really well, which means that's what people like to see. Back in the day, years ago, the content was a lot more organic and original to the personality of the creator. It seems a lot more generic now. But anyway, what are your guys' thoughts? What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'm gonna be one of those channels that have been vlogging for 10 years before I get like 200K. Whereas more aesthetically pleasing, more trendy vloggers can get that in, you know, eight months. Those are my thoughts of the day. All right, enough of that rambling. I'm gonna go to my dental appointment and then I have to come back and finish laundry and then I gotta go to work. We're having a going away party for one of the stretch therapists and I'm making a dirt cake. Is that what it's called? Like a, a dirt worm chocolate pudding thing. But I make mine mixed with cream cheese and sweetened condensed milk, kind of like you would with a banana pudding. It's so magical and good. I'm gonna head out as soon as I'm done here. You guys, if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, hold on. I just rewatched what I said and I don't know if I really got the point across that I was trying to say. If you want to stay relevant, if you want to get views, you have to post content that's trending. That's the algorithm. That's how YouTube works. YouTube is forever changing and evolving and you have to kind of flow and change with it if you want to stay relevant. And before it was the opposite. Like people were more like, let me make something unique and creative to share with the world. And that's how it's changed. Okay. Now I will see you later. All right, just got out of my appointment and all is well, no cavities. <laughs> I haven't had a cavity since I was a kid. I've had like three in my life. I have these lingual bars. I had braces when I was an adult. I got them off like, I got them done like five years ago. And he gave me the lingual uh, bars and then also like the plastic like trays that you wear at night. So I've just been wearing both, but I can't floss very well with the bars there. I have to like use this tool and stuff and I don't like doing that. So I'm just getting those removed. He's charging me $250 just to take them off. Ugh. That's the one thing I miss about working in dental is I would get my dental work for free and my dentist would not charge me just to remove those. It takes like five minutes. So now I'm gonna head home and make some lunch and then I have to make that dessert to bring into the goodbye party. No. I got all of the ingredients. What? <laughs> Jason's been trying to talk to me. He's been trying to talk to me for like five minutes and he can't get out what he's trying to say. I know. So I'm done listening. Yeah, I know. So anyway. Right. <laughs>
I got all this stuff from Target to make a dirt pie. I don't have enough time. It's I have to get ready for work now. So instead, I came over here and made myself a little tuna sandwich. I have a toasted bagel with the tuna. It's the garlic and herb flavor packet. And then I have some lettuce and tomato, sriracha, and a little bit of mayo. There you go. And then for dessert, we've got the Skittles gummies. These are delicious. And some mambas. This is where it's at right here, the mamba sticks. Did I say? Did I say? Mm. What did you just take anyway? Piece of tuna. Get out of my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna eat my lunch, fix up my makeup, get some lips on, let Cyro out, I gotta switch the dogs, and then go to work. I'm gonna have to pick up something for this guy since I can't make the dessert. I just don't have the time. So maybe I'll do cupcakes. People love cupcakes, right? Oh! Today's the 22nd. Where's the remote? Today's the 22nd. It's season two, first episode of the Kardashians, Jay. I like them. You either love them or you hate them. We're about to watch an episode of Kardashians. I'm gonna have to go to work, like, I'm not ready. And I don't care. Come on, Hulu, load. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. Chloe's gonna talk about how Tristan did what he did and how co parenting is difficult and hard and sad. Yeah, girl, how many times are you gonna do it before you learn? I like Chloe, she's a good one, but she doesn't do well with guys, you know? Not, not very good decision making. But she loves him, and it's the father of her daughter and the feelings, you know? It's hard, I get it. I mean, I'm anxious, but, you know, I feel like it just, like, has to be time to talk about Bruno. Yeah. Hey, guys. Good morning. We are getting ready to go to church. Excuse me. And I need to pick out something to wear. I think it's sweater weather. So I'm gonna wear maybe the new sweater. Chris is getting ready. That should be the weather supposed to be high, 69. Oh, really? I was gonna wear, I guess I could wear a sweater to church and then change. No, I don't wanna change. I wanted to wear my new sweater. This little number right here with the little buttons on the top. Oh, so cute. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be 65 degrees until later on this evening. So it's always cold in church, so I think this is perfect. This is a sweater that I got in my last vlog. It feels buttery soft inside, and it's lightweight, but still thick, if that makes sense. It's just really good quality. And I just paired it with some black heels. These are Jessica Simpsons and some jeans. And then I'm gonna wear my new chic bag. It's the only thing I hate about switching bags is having to take everything out and put it back. So I've got my wallet, definitely some gum. I think I'm gonna wear this lipstick today. This is the Cinnamon Toast Lipstick by L'Oreal. So good for fall. Keys. Tissues, always, because I have allergies. Mon Paris backup. And some hand lotion. I think that'll do. Oh, I still have the plastic on here. There we go. And then I have a little pocket on the outside here for my phone, which I love because I hate digging for my phone. All right, we're ready. So once we get out of church, we'll show you guys where we're going to eat. I think we want to try somewhere new today, but I'm not sure. We started going to this new church not too long ago. I think it was probably a month ago, maybe a month and a half. I really liked it at first, and then a new pastor started, and he seems really great. But I don't know, there's something about the message. Yeah, the... Uh... The message is a little more superficial from a higher level, I guess, not 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 so in depth. And I appreciate a deeper, a deeper discussion into the subject. I really like the Bible study, though. The weekly Bible studies on Thursday nights, it's really fun. Um, Chris and I just got out of church and we're very hungry. And we decided to go to an Italian place that we haven't tried yet called Vibes. Oh, look at that lady's dresses. Her dress is caught right there. You see that? I don't know.
struck down in the middle of it I built up something to destroy Dried out in a summer that I didn't know what I was waiting for. Mm -hmm. I fell down by the river, I was screaming just to hear a voice. And in the cold by the riverside, I was asleep into my very soul. All right, I am back home now. Lately, I've been ordering several pieces of gold jewelry from Amazon because it's high quality. I showed you guys these little huggies in my last vlog, and I got this necklace as well. It's really heavy and great material. You can just tell the quality is there, but it's just a basic circle, and it has a little knot there at the top. And it's really shiny and just, sorry about that, my phone died. What I was trying to say was basically these are really good quality and it's something simple and nice that you can wear with sweaters and hoodies. And then I got a few more earrings. I showed you guys these in my last vlog. These, which are probably gonna be my favorite pair to wear for a while because they're very unique. They don't fit on your ear like you would think. I love that about Amazon. They're unique pieces like that. I like the shape of it. Do you see the pattern? It's really nice. And then I got this ring, it's 18 karat gold dipped and it's just like a basic one that you can wear. And lastly, I got another pair of these uh, basic like everyday hoops, classic. So yeah, loving that. Guess what? I was going downstairs and I got more Amazon packages. I thought I'd open them up with you guys. Are you guys gonna open them up with me? This is lip balm. I can't share this lip balm enough. Because when you find a good one, you have to share it with the world. It smells so good. I can't describe the smell. I don't know what it is about it, but it's amazing. I got two of them. It's a little bit expensive, but it lasts a long time. It's nice and thick, and it's just super hydrating. It's the best. Oh, yeah, I got another hoodie. You know those hoodies that I showed you guys for $11.99? It's a man's hoodie, and it has that thin fleece lining inside. Perfect for fall when you get up in the morning to walk your dogs or run errands. But how nice is this blue to wear with black leggings? This blue with dark hair I think is fantastical. Oh, yeah. And then I got... A bunch more of these like white tops it's basically a sweatshirt you can tell like it's really really thin material and it's just really soft and comfortable so I got another one in this khaki color then I got another one in white and another one in white So we're gonna drop Max off inside of grooming and then Chris and I need to find one of those uh, leashes that kind of lock onto the collar. Cyro's a type of dog that he just takes off and you don't see him until he feels like coming back. So My nerves were so bad. I was just like, hey, Cyro, so sit. Yeah. Just sit and sit. So stressful. So anyway, we're gonna pick one of those up and that's it, go back home. Getting gas on the way home. We're here at some Shell and they put a $200 hold on your card. 200, is that necessary? Well, Chris and I are gonna head home and I'm gonna make a stew and I think we're just gonna chill the rest of the evening. Chris is watching Sopranos and I'm gonna do a little bit of housework. I got to clean bathrooms today. I like to do that on a weekly basis and wash bedding and all of that. So I think I'm gonna clean out the dog's bedroom as well. Lots to do, do some relaxing first and then some work. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, it's been fun. You guys have an awesome rest of your day and until next time, bye for now. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost.